Oh, it was a power here with an opening with the Dark Seiza Loster and this thing too. Um, this thing will be um, a thing on the second channel, so look forward to that. <laughs> Mostly, we're just going to focus on these two products because, you know, there's not really much else. I would have waited for my Spectre Cross Blade set to get released just to get three things over with, but honestly, it's like, I think we can technically have two entries in the icon dissection. <laughs> so, um, I did record the introduction of this. So we can take care of that, but let me just empty out my pocket. Um, yeah, so again, this thing I waited out for a long time. A while just so then you know I can actually get it for cheap I was gonna panic that it was not gonna come with batteries because <laughs> I was like oh shoot this is gonna be like the beast ride watch that one was a weird release too so there's I don't get why they made this one. Gosh. I just kind of prefer if this was actually like a DX watch, because like what I joke about in the intro, you know, I'm probably going to talk about this. It's just the big issue with this watch, it's the fact that it's Gashapon, which just makes the value of this absurd. <laughs> like, again, just the way you have to obtain it, and it's specifically Gashapon because it's V. So the, the way you have to obtain this watch is obviously you have to pull a bunch of cards or you, you have to buy a bunch of cards because they're like a dollar each. A card is like a dollar and such. So you have to keep doing that and hope that, you know, one of the chests that you open up is this item. So then you can call the store clerk to open up the cabinet so then you can get this thing and go home and then be stuck with your 50 plus gomberizing cards <laughs> that are valueless because of this thing and when they did that with you know so then they do that for another three years with you know the force progress key which is just a pack a pack and key and then with the decade book that <laughs> which is Honestly, the worst defender because that one doesn't even make sounds, so that one's not even like worth it. <laughs> it's that one's like, man, you got ripped off. But, um, this one on the other hand is it's essentially what would be the Gash Upon Decade Watch, it technically has a new sticker. I don't have that in hand right now but um it's i think it's essentially the same never heard that in a while Really like. I I'm glad to finally have this watch because I really like the simplified jingle this one has. You know what this one failed to do. Like I don't know why it was so hard for them for this one to not just follow what Rabbit Dragon did. 
just have complete 21 then just complete 21 because then it would have flowed a lot better than just go doing the whole doing the whole decay decay yeah obviously they're the same it's just I don't know they may like I guess, like, they really just wanted him to say one word per transformation. They probably really didn't have a lot of time for him. <laughs> They're like, get in the booth, say these two words, and get out. <laughs> I still have these out, so. I, I, if, I always forget because this one is the game one. It's stuck to the generic, like, screens. It, that just worked. <laughs> but yeah. Um, now I technically just need to obtain the Gashapon watches, which is just impossible. Um... <laughs> Which is unfortunate. Because, like, I don't understand why the gash pond set is really difficult on obtaining. I don't know why they didn't just do another two waves. <laughs> but, um, I really do like this watch. Uh, it's my favorite decade watch. Just because I really like how they just simplified the decade jingle. Because I think it's really cool to actually have a decade jingle that's consistent with the other writers. So, that will have to do with this thing. And let's take a look at a series that we haven't really looked into in a while, just because I was basically done with it. Oh, actually, technically, because my the the only other videos I've been or the latest Kirinder stuff I did get was episode of Stinger stuff, but now we got the Dark Seiza Blaster. I find it really weird. This is the front of the box. I understand why. But I think this just works a lot more. Um, but yeah, so this thing's been in the, um, you know, basically, as I said, within the unboxing, I got this thing in November. So, and this was like a thing I've been meaning to get, but it's just like... You know, I was like, yeah, I'll just wait for it to become cheaper. Let's like, eh, 60 is fine. <laughs> and I don't remember what is what because I obviously all of my stuff got thrown into like garbage bags when we had to move everything up. So I got the mechs because I needed cute Thomas for them, but I don't. Recall if the Seiza Blaster is actually in here. I don't think so because I think the bottom of this bag is my Ride Watch Dizes. <laughs> so I just because I was like, oh yeah, I need the Seiza Blaster, so, so I'll be back and check 
for that and within the den. Okay, I found it. It was within my zero one stuff. Let's see if it's still alive. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then, obviously, this was still intact. My cute Tama box, <laughs> to which uh, my niece ripped when she last opened it. Because I was, you know, my stuff was still all outside and such. And just because I thought it wasn't neat, I, I decided to just, you know, let my niece play with the Key Ranger stuff. Uh, and in typical fashion, it didn't last that long. It lasted like, well, actually, surprisingly, it lasted that long. Surprisingly, like, it lasted like two to three days. But, um, essentially, it's just because I couldn't put the mechs away because my niece will only. She would only play with those and just dismantle them all and leave them all around the living room. <laughs> so, yeah, this is definitely different. So, obviously, it's actually, it's kind of like obviously convenient to actually get this now. I, I think I just finally decided to get this because of the gear toll jewelinger because that's essentially the same that's what that's what essentially this is just a dark counterpart of the changer i just realized this this box doesn't have a picture of the actual product why can't i I literally can't get this. <laughs> this flap, <laughs> this top flap is stuck. <laughs> because I literally cannot. I literally wasn't able to get that. <laughs> Instructions to feel really hefty. So, obviously, don't do any of that stuff. You can get pinched, uh, don't swing it. Batteries, how to put on the wrist straps. Put this on correctly. Okay, it did. <laughs> I don't think I've ever looked in the instructions for the six blaster. Okay, so here we go. So we got 28 phrases and 16 phrases. So that's a total of 40. Four phrases? That's pretty impressive for a Sentai toy. Oh yeah, I forgot the Yudon changer. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh yeah, that thing had phrases too. <laughs> This is interesting. <laughs> what is with these dark changers that they just have to find unique ways of packing? I don't I don't mind, but it's just kind of like 
And okay, I can feel something. Okay. So like, I, it's just kind of weird that like, cause you know, the packaging for the original, like for the original six buster was like, that was clearly reusable. So why didn't they do that again? They just did this entire like box thing. I understand they wanted, I guess because they wanted to have like the neatness. This just reminds me of the progress key boxes even though i don't have any of those sets i only had the uh aims narikiri set <laughs> that was my only experience of those because you know the memorial sets just decided to go with plastic so what the heck is happening okay so which one do we actually have got do we get out Dark. Okay. So the black hole is just stolen. <laughs> so then here we have the actual. So obviously putting this thing back in the box is not going to be fun because you have no way of doing that. <laughs> so okay, here we go with the dark saves bluster, and here we have the same wrist strap. Which is sadly already bent. So yeah, this is how it's packed. Just within a box, and I think you're supposed to do something like that. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it feels like I'm like a phone box or whatever. And then you, this contraption that just encloses it and such. <laughs> This one doesn't have a hundred plus, so I should be fine. So, <laughs> I think this, this. I know this is one of the very few curing stuff I got open or not used. No, no. New. <laughs> it was, I tried not to get things new for curing just because it was cheaper. Yeah, this feels a lot sturdier. I like it. Man, look at this. <laughs> oh, I didn't even... Are these molded differently? It's sadly kind of loose. So this one's B62. Yeah, these ones are sadly... Sixty-three. So I think these are the last two ketones within the pin system. There's dark, black hole. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, I want to quickly see. So let's just pull the Qtama. I'm not looking. No, not that one because I know what that one is. Okay. Yeah. It's remolded. I never knew that. <laughs> um, I never knew about these details on the side. 
I honestly thought it was just a repaint. Wow. I don't think I'm putting it in correctly. Okay. Okay. So, last but not least, got the actual oh, says the boss itself. Oh, what the heck is this taped? <laughs> Here we have the Dark Days of Luster. Um, I don't think it's matte. It doesn't seem to be. Um, obviously, I think the Days of Luster for me hasn't like it's not as tight. I think I'm so used to the glitter blade. <laughs> The glitter blade tightness is like, oh, wait, this isn't bad. This is rude. Wow. Um, yeah, seasonal Oster. Yeah, this actually isn't as bad. I, I think I'm just so used to the glitter blade and just how much that, like, wraps around my hand that this thing is like, wow, it's actually really even. Um, wow, they didn't paint the arrow. That's funny. <laughs> um, I wouldn't know what exactly they improved. They would have improved on because now everything that like this is slightly blue. Now it's just black. Obviously the thing that got retooled was this front piece which is pretty interesting. Like Look at that. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what piece this front piece technically is that they had to retool. Because I don't know if it's like an entirely new, it has to be an entirely new piece. Like it's obviously an entirely new piece, but like, I just want to know how it's like separated that they were able to achieve that. Or as, because I think... I did not know it was connected. So. Because here it's a lot more obvious. That this is a separate piece. Because these two are separate. So. They might have put a piece. It looks like they put a piece. Over. Here, most likely. Oh, um, it's really because I think they made a new section for the knuckles here. I kind of want to open it up just to see. <laughs> I, that's how curious I am. It's dumb, but I really want to see how. separate it is because it's done because i'm gonna scrap i could potentially scrap the screws man <laughs> um speaking of screws
Bowls. Oh, so this will be the exact same experience, just, you know, obviously, instead of being used. I just realized, I think the reason why they didn't reuse the carton from the Seiza Blaster is because they needed to include another Qtama. But honestly, they could have just found a spot somewhere. Because that box is gigantic. Yeah, see, so the thing about the Seiza Blaster, gosh, darn. <laughs> I think this is why I need to read the instructions. Because the thing with the Seiza Blaster is like you kind of need to, like, So this one's actually a lot tighter. So, okay, let me, this says a blaster is big enough that you can just slide. Gosh darn it. <laughs> so, I think you need to slide this through. So this is the thing, you need to like tighten this beforehand. Other than that, uh, it obviously gives the same feel. Uh, you know, obviously my hand is too big because the thumb is not, you're not supposed to bend your thumb this much. You're supposed to at least, your thumb's supposed to at least be able to press it right away. I'm, I'll be, again, I'll be interested when they do a memorial edition that's actually like supposed to. It's actually a lot longer and such, and can actually read all the Q Thomas. Um, so, for consistency, even though it's not good for it, we're going to just leave the strap on. Yeah, this is like one of the more complicated straps. Crapses. What? Which one was this one? This one was on three. Yeah, I feel like this one is honestly a lot longer. But I always like the straps for this is a blaster. Okay, <laughs> so, there we go with that. So let's finally actually turn it on. Woohoo! Typically, I just did it like this. Can I hold the same one? So if you press this, when you try to do the phrases, it's going to cancel. See, you'll also just like the Yudan changer, I think. You, are, you at least know when it stops. Balas, Tan 
生日おめでとう俺も嬉しいよ球玉取ったぞ小太郎がかわいそうおいしくなれおいしくなれお前たちいいコンビだまたタコかバランス下げぽよげぽよウェイ俺にも分かったかわいいしくよろバラス大変よくできました俺には心がないということか楽しそうなのに俺は yeah, these phrases are really short. 俺は<笑>
I don't think he... He most likely did use this as Hippet Sky Metal. Or Dark Hippet Sky Metal. Technically. <laughs> I really like how different that one is. <laughs> I, I really like this one. Because all of them sound similar. It's definitely a lot easier to take cute thumbs out. Obviously, it would be. <laughs> yeah, so this one is still this one is blue. says it so casually. <laughs> I really wish they used the dark sounds within here, so then we can have casual Seiza Blaster saying dark instead of tearing the dark from the dark Seiza Blaster. Obviously this one is still... I even hear Hippet Sky Metal. <laughs> I, I think I was too distracted. Jeez, this one's like on a ratchet. It's probably how it's supposed to be. Yeah, this one actually like has a stopping point here and then it will go like, it has like three clicks. This one, I think, yeah, this one doesn't. <laughs> I think this one became too loose. Well, other than that, um, I'll say they do the exact same things within both changers. It's nice that they actually, obviously they're both compatible because we already hacked these sounds <laughs> when uh, this, that thing got released. And I just forgot that technically, yeah, uh, I said it before that these were the last two Q-Thomas, but that's because this one actually is the Q-Thomas that uses all the pins. So let's dig through whatever cute Thomas I can find through the Voyagers. So here's Carabaros. <laughs> Why did this have to be the first one? <laughs> Bag. You can see, uh, why is, I think my niece probably did that. <laughs> Actually, wait, this one wouldn't have it. Honestly, 
I'll try to do the sound that does it. Oh, here's Kojak. So here's Koji Kojishi. Um. <laughs> Here's our hip bits, Kai. It's what are you done? <laughs> so obviously this one's like obvious to have. <laughs> So if I think if you what if you have this one? Nah, got it. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> so it's only uh, the dark key sound that you can access the dark naga sounds. It's weird that Black Hole doesn't have them because he he got that key tower when he was at that state. Okay, obviously, like you know, it's cool that I I think it would have been cool if. Yeah, so it would have been cool if you were able to press this for him to say like star change slash dark change, and then press this. You know that CSM quality. <laughs> but, um, you know, oh well. Uh, which way goes under? Basically, um, also just with this. You know, it just made me, like, it, I kind of wish that, like, because it's interesting in Tenegu with the series like Q-Ranger. That, like, you know, it's cool that Naga actually had phrases within here, but then it just makes, I think I said this before, I kind of wish the Psycho q Tom actually had lucky phrases, you know, just so that I can, oh, okay, Orion Butler has phrases from at least the nine Q-Rangers, including... Kotaro's in that toy too, right? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's Suruki that's not in there. Technically, it's that toy that has like phrases. Well, why am I doing this? It does have phrases. Like it has like, you know, at least the character's signature phrase. So it's like, you do have a toy that has Lucky saying, Yosho Lucky. But, you know, would have been cool to have more. So... Moving these out because we're not gonna do them yet. I'm just gonna put the power ups here. Did I reorganize this in numerical order? Because <laughs> I'm like, where's Pegasus, Oguma, and Ikakuchi? Um, I don't know which order this is in anymore. We're just gonna try whatever. <laughs> oh. I haven't heard these myself, honestly, so I apologize. I didn't really look into this a lot, just because, you know. <laughs> I was too high pitched. Uh, who is 
is this? Tate? Tate! <laughs> <laughs> Some of these are just kind of pointless to be honest because it's like, okay. Heavy. Just like the fact that, like, you know, with these dark versions, they have to sound raspy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I grabbed two before, didn't I? Why does this one not feel aligned? I'm glad if I have to do whenever I get to this, like covering this video or covering this toy. Like, yeah, I had to do all the things, but like, honestly, it's probably like more relieving. <laughs> That's the first one that swung out because obviously when it this is how it sounded in the original one. She actually did use some of these. Oh, this is Shishi. <laughs> I don't know why that was just in there. Or like why it was randomly just in the center. I don't remember how they summoned it. <laughs> I don't remember which one this one was. What was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does this one get the most ridiculous announcements? Hilakurisu? And then this one is just... is broken so I can't really like stand it so far which oh can I not do this one <laughs> like honestly I think it was obvious that they weren't gonna put out the dark cues of weapon especially if it wasn't even present for a while 
Okay, uh, here's Pegasus. Where is Ogumon now? Is Ogumon, Ogumon should be here. Okay, there. We got her. I want to save the power-ups. Because <laughs> I'm glad I actually have them all now. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm going to have to use... to keep this box open. Um, just grab these ones. And... Okay, we obviously will save that one for later because that's the reason why most people bought the toy. Yeah, I definitely did it. This one is the... This is tight. Cute. <laughs> um, how did this one sound in here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so in here, it's literally just... Candy toy ones now. <laughs> yeah, there's nine. Okay. This one didn't even click. <laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> Understand this one. Okay. Here's Perseus. This one's Perseus, isn't it? Yeah. This is Perseus, but like I. Perseus. What? Crane Joe just uploaded a video of him putting the volcano vice stamp into the two side driver. Because it is possible. It's just that, <laughs> obviously, like, you just can't actually put it in. Oh, this is... Not Kachaku. Uh... Kuchia. <laughs> the other one of the trio. Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia. The 
Tannis, or whatever. And I know what this one is because it's the origin of Kieran Scare's Kid. <laughs> Man, wouldn't it have been funny if the uh, Kuriyami was able to just say Jack, Jaku, Jaku Kuri no longer shit, or Jaku Kuri, <laughs> just the way it says like Jaku Pino Fun, Pito Fun, Jaku Diego Speedy, <laughs> Jaku Happy. <laughs> oh god. Uh, who's left? So we got the crow. Taurus. One of the only few Tatsunoko things I've actually watched. Whoop, swish, splash, 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 splash. Here's Dolphin. So we got the two Super Sentai. Q Thomas, I was gonna say Gears. Super Sentai, Q Tama, Dark Change. Super Sentai! just give me attack. Super Sentai! Q-Tama! Dark Attack! Um, yeah, okay, I guess we can jump to this one now. Because uh, BB wants to fall. Yay, X Aid. <laughs> I already forgot about that. <laughs> Okay, so now we will jump to the power-ups. So, Pegasus.
culture. Hikari Kiyotama. They sadly didn't bother changing it. Yep, that's still the same. <laughs> This thing obviously doesn't do anything because it just, you know, does its own thing and it doesn't really, just the clicking isn't really present, but it, it's at least in there. So. Okay. Is that all it for what I have? <laughs> I guess, so let me just put all this back. Okay, so now we're actually gonna obviously hack this thing because I've never heard anyone try to get the jewel jur or a big bang sound out of here. I don't think I have enough pins though. <laughs> See you. Oh. So I don't know, we're just gonna risk it. Because obviously we still need to do a bunch of these. Oops. Pretty impressed that Shishi isn't one of the face ones. Oh yeah, that's still what I need. Because <laughs> I don't have the buckle. <laughs> of these are actually usable. some of the six pin stuff. Okay, I think this should be a good angle. Because I think Jewel Drew is one of the two pin ones. Naga 
Daddy. It has to be one of the four pins, I believe. Like when all four are actually pressed. I don't know. Yeah, so. When he sounded. Super. So obviously, I haven't heard that one. I apologize about the This is actually difficult to try to like. They're still here.
Uh, that solves it. <laughs> um, they still made him record all of the uh, unreleased sounds, which is neat. Nothing got taken out. Um, everything is still retained. So it's still really disappointing that we don't have a Jewel to Kyutama. Because most likely we were supposed to have a team up. It never happened. <laughs> Super! Like, this one is actually cool. It just sucks it wasn't released. We got the X8 Q-Tama, at least, I guess. Oh, yeah. The... Gotta get that water one. So I probably messed something up in here, but yeah, um, that's essentially it. Uh, I just wanted to, that was my, mo the thing I was just curious about the most, just if Jewel Drew was still in here, and it is, which is cool. <laughs> so uh, now I have to do, um, what time is it right now? 102, not bad. So I'm going to stay up like another hour or so to film the page through on the Super Sentai Encyclopedia for the second channel. I don't know when I will get my Spectre Cross Blade set. But um, other than that, I think for q Tama, like Q-Ranger stuff, like all I really need to get. Like, I guess because I really do not want to buy the buckles. <laughs> Oh, but I might have to, so I, I don't know. So I have those two Q Thomas that come with the buckles. I'm excluding the two Q Thomas are extremely rare to get because those ones are abysmal. Um, then there's obviously the two mechs because I still have not Grateful Phoenix, Ho Oh, Giganto, and Orion Butler to pick up, so that's at least like six, seven, eight, no, not six, <laughs> three. I, I doubled it. That's like five, six, seven. So I have, and I still have, I technically need to pick up the cockpit sets. I honestly don't want to, but I technically need to to get the Q Thomas sound with the red LED. Then I need to track down the Argo Qtamas to get the Qtama with the white LED. Because <laughs> I only have the one with the yellow LED and the green LED. So, <laughs> I don't know why they programmed four of those, but oh well. This thing's a delight, though. Um, it's nice. Especially for this thing being like the first Sentai item to get this caliber of thing. Because, yeah, technically, beforehand, they it would typically just be the gimmicks. But um, for it to be like an actual, like, obviously dark version of this, of that, it's nice that the Bandai finally decided to give Sentai a chance. Because obviously at this point, Ryder had the liberties of premium bandai yeah so that all i have to do with this video so this is power and i will leave people bye